This is called Nest. Day after day, the robust robin dives into the potted tree of sheer leaves and flimsy branches, chooses the same time I seek inspiration from the changing scene outside a nest, furnished with my late mother's treasures, home to spirits who lure me to stay and bear witness. Lessons. He invites me to his villa in Tivoli, presses me to love fluidly. If not, how do you know? We both love horses, storytelling, the eternal city. We abhor wicked lovers, fickle friends, networking. Right of love, not war. Right of the heart's traitors, not politicians. Despite a gap of over 2,000 years, ages after the rise and fall of Rome, Catullus gives me writing lessons. The next two poems are from my uh, future uh, poetry collection called We Became Summer. It's coming out from New York Quarterly. This is called Soundtrack to My Mother's Life. She loved to croon, especially when sad. Smile, whose music Charlie Chaplin wrote, remained an all-time favorite. Another personal hit, My Funny Valentine, I found sad until I discovered Jazz and Chet Baker. She deserved a better shot at love, but she romanced life, <coughs> found beauty elsewhere. The shadow of your smile, so appropriate, as her smile sparkled, it follows me everywhere. And this is called um, Lessons Learned from Moss. I learned the art of detachment from a destructive past romanticized by poets whose origins go back <coughs> millions of years. Celestial nomads that feast on leather, wool, silk, felt and thrive on night, taught me to let go of longing. Animal stuff with memories, dolls from a distant dad, an embroidered coat from gimbals. When I returned to my late mother's home, white larvae covered elegant outfits. Souls fell from Ferragamo pumps. Moss cunningly coached me to occupy now, not dwell in closets lined with past lives nor focus on nostalgia tarnished by death and deceit. Wow.